world. Il Divo, which is the world's first and most successful classical crossover group, selling over 26 million albums worldwide, is coming to Broadway's Marquee Theater for a limited number of concerts beginning on November 7th. They'll be co-starring with Tony Award winner Heather Headley. And I caught up with the guys here at Sardi's. Welcome to Broadway. Welcome home to Broadway. How does it feel? It feels great. It feels absolutely great. I have, since being on Broadway back in 2001, I have now transplanted myself and am a, a New York resident. I, I have a New York driver's license and everything. So I, I am from here now. So being able to come back and, and bring the boys and, and come and do a show on Broadway and, and be able to commute to work, it's, it's fabulous. It's really great. What have you told them since you've done Broadway before what this whole thing is going to be like? I mean, it doesn't get any better than Broadway. It doesn't. And, you know, uh, we've, we've talked about this and we've been walking around the city since, since we've gotten here on this trip. And, but it's one of those things that you really can't prepare for. It's, it's kind of like, I make the analogy of it's kind of like giving birth. You can explain to someone all you want. You can read all the books all you want. But until you've gone through it, you're not going to know what that feels like. So, um, yeah, I'm really anxious to see how these guys feel. How excited are you? Oh, I can't even tell you. I mean, we've come to New York for about 10 years now. We've played Madison Square Garden, we've played Radio City Music Hall, we've played the Beacon Theatre, but never on Broadway. Very first time. So, wow. Wow. I mean, I'm speechless. I've, I've never even seen a show on Broadway. So, we're coming here now for more than a week. We play the first round of six shows, and I'll just have plenty of time to soak all this atmosphere in and everything. I'm so looking forward to it. For you? It is fantastic. I mean, obviously, you can also sing in uh, your musical you know, theater pieces. That's the, that's the most amazing thing, because obviously, it's not typical Ilivo. So, so we need to show the people that, that we not only sing these pop songs, though, also this, this musical theater. And singing it over here in Broadway, it's just, as you said, it's just the maximum that they can get. I think everything's been said, really. It's like a, you know, a dream as a child, you know, probably to, you see those pictures on the postcard and you'd never think you'd ever would come to Broadway. So, yeah, it's a dream come true that we, I'm going to embrace and enjoy every day being here and get to know the city, uh, enjoy being close to an audience, et cetera, et cetera. Everything's been really said here. Well, let's talk about your special guest star, Heather Headley. I mean, this is going to be so exciting. What are the types of songs you're going to do in the shows, guys? Well, quite a few different ones, actually. I mean, we've recorded the, the song from The Lion King, Can You Feel the Love Tonight with her. That's kind of her showpiece, but we kind of needed to find somebody who can do all the other things as well. So she's going to do Memory from Cats with us. She's going to probably do um, All I Ask of You from the Phantom of the Opera with us. So, again, like I said earlier, that in El Divo, to sing, you've got to be very flexible. You want to sing with El Divo, like what Heather does. She's got to be very, very flexible as well, because we do all that different repertoire, and it all requires different colors and different ranges. But she is such an amazing singer and such an amazing personality that I have absolutely no doubt that she's going to pull it off wonderfully. Now, talk about the album that coincides with the concert. So excited about that. Yeah, the album is amazing. I mean, we, we have fantastic uh, uh, duets on the album with Barbara Streisand, and with Nicole Scherzinger, with, uh, with uh, Heather, Heather, Heather Headley, sorry. Uh, who else? Uh, with Michael Ball. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, we, we, we try to have songs from, from the new, uh, new musicals, from the old musicals, and I think it's, it's going to be a really complete uh, album. You have such a broad range of Broadway shows. Do you have a favorite? songs that you do in the show and on the album? Yeah, I really like All I Ask of You. It's one of my favorites at the moment. I think it's uh, one of the best songs ever written by Andrew Lloyd Webber. I think he did very well on that. It's, uh, I mean, just, you know, when we sing it, it's just like, I think we nail it. It sounds amazing. I love it, and I'm really looking forward to put that on, on uh, the marquee. <laughs> do you have a favorite? Favorite uh, of the show or of the record? Both. Uh, one of my favorite would be uh, maybe somewhere, and on the record I would say uh, uh, if I would ever leave you from Camelot, and maybe memory from from Cats. Mm. And for you, I do like some enchanted evening very much. I think it's a very beautiful music. It's a very beautiful melody to sing. You can just bathe in there. It's it's wonderful. I'm looking forward to performing that. And David, for you. Well, my favorite song uh, that we recorded is not going to actually be on the U.S. release. It's going to be on the U.K. release. It's uh, um, 
Who Wants to Live Forever from the, the Queen musical, We Will Rock You, that plays in the West End. Um, I just, I, I'm very new, I'm a newcomer to the music of Queen, and, and I think that this song has, has been a really good bridge transition to, um, from, from our music and where we've come from, and this new repertoire and genre we're going into. But it's not on the U.S. album, so maybe I shouldn't talk about that. So I'll talk about the uh, the one in the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think my favorite one in the show is going to be uh, is another song that's not on the album. Is uh, the Impossible Dream, Man of La Mancha. This was this was actually one of the songs that got us thinking that maybe we should head in this direction. It was. The, the first musical theater song we put in, the, in any of our tours was somewhere from West Side Story, and that got a huge response. And so we thought maybe on the next tour we'll add another one. So we put together just a, a quick version of, uh, of Man of La Mancha and insane reaction. So it, we kind of saw a pattern evolving out of that. And I think the message of, uh, of The Impossible Dream is very aspirational, reaching for the stars, don't let anything get in your way, just focus on something and go for it and and I feel like well we did and and here we are mm -hmm.